Donald Trump underwent a physical today, performed by a U.S. military admiral, who is also a medical doctor, and he promptly announced that Trump is in excellent health. Yeah right, I'm not a doctor, but it doesn't take a medical professional to see that Trump is in fairly poor overall physical health just by watching him in action. So let's talk about the fact that Trump's military doctor is legally bound to obey any order Trump gives him, and the fact that the doctor has apparently forgotten how to spell his own name. Yeah, he'll go ahead and say it, the results of this physical are obviously faked. Trump's military doctor knows damn well that Trump is in bad physical shape, even for a 71-year-old. Trump can barely get through a speech without appearing winded. He seems half dead most of the time. Sometimes he can barely open his right eye. He sometimes slurs his words. Various insider accounts say that he spends most of the day lying in bed, and only spends roughly seven hours a day out of bed. Even setting aside Trump's obvious and worsening mental problems, he also clearly suffers from physical health problems. What do they specifically what's his actual medical diagnosis that was supposed to be the entire point of the physical, to get those answers? Yet now we have a military doctor comically announcing that Trump is in excellent health. That's not possible. And, as it turns out, it didn't happen. The doctor spelled his own first name incorrectly on his statement, which means he obviously didn't write it to begin with. His statement is a forgery from Trump's team. As the commander-in-chief, Donald Trump can order anyone in the military to do anything, so long as it's not illegal. Did Trump order this military doctor to pronounce that helps in excellent health? It sure looks like it. Moreover, Trump is routinely so fraudulently dishonest that most Americans were expecting Trump to find a way to fake the results of his physical. Trump's big mistake was that he didn't allow the doctor to announce some minor health concerns that would have made the whole thing sound more believable. As it stands, these results are obviously, comically, and inarguably fake. It's time for a congressional investigation. Keep up to date with the latest Palmer Report articles via email. Get the latest content first. Email address update preference as new articles are added daily. Subscribe now we respect your privacy.